Good All right, let's take up where we left off before. Immensely frustrated that I'm not able to do such simple modeling. But as you can see, when uh, our character walks, he bumps into walls. But there is a gap I put in here. You just can't see it. And you can get through it. And then you can see that there is the door that I put in. So why isn't it showing up and why can't he continue walking? Like, that's really weird. Like, what's going on here? So he can walk out of the door and then uh, in there. So I'm, I'm having eh, issues. So let me stop this and we're going to get rid of that. But it's it's this one I did in Blender. And look at how it just ended up here, too. Like, what, what the heck is that? All right. So this is my model. And if I hide everything, let's make sure that that's uh, selected. And let's find it by hitting the period. So I'll call this um, big greenhouse. Um, and that'll be found there. If I hide everything else by hitting, oops, I want to hit that Alt H. Let's just do all of this. Let's just do um, hide for everything by doing H, and then let's find that big greenhouse and make it visible. So something's really weird about the faces on here, and it may be that I never duplicated. No, I had to have duplicated the faces, or you wouldn't see it when you're inside. Um, but that does happen. So let me go into edit mode. And one thing that is very obvious is that this bottom layer here, that needs to be moved down in the Z axis so the guy doesn't have to jump to get in. All right, so that would be nice. The other thing is that when we come at it, we look at it, it's not doubled, I guess. So we do need to take this face and that bottom. face, uh, the top back on the bottom. Hold on. So what we need to do is extrude this so that it has some dimension. So let's extrude it by hitting E and let's pull it in. And that should give it some depth. So now it should work as a door. I don't understand at all what happened on the inside when the character is trying to walk and he gets blocked somehow. So that really mystifies me. But let's try exporting this now and seeing if at least the door shows up. So we go back to here and we can see that you can see inside. When we get inside, I'm not sure what is going on in there that makes it, because it looks like it's all clear here on the inside. But, I don't know. So when we look at the, we do Alt, H, get everything else back. And then of course the landscape is there. Um, that's what we're gonna be exporting. Ah, oh, look at that, the, uh, no, that's okay. That, those are all right. Those are all right, they have materials in them, yes. So there doesn't appear to be anything on the inside that would block a character, but let's try it again. So we've got that selected. Oh, we're going to go to export. We're going to go to FBX. We're going to go greenhouse large back. We're going to do it again, selected object only at 0.01 size and export the FBX. Come back into Roblox. We will take this out of here and we will now bring in the 3D model again, greenhouse back, and there it is, and somehow it's still showing, oh, there's a door, all right, but it's like it's letting us see through it, which is weird, I don't know, that should not be, but let's just check it out and see what happens, so there it is, and Again, it's like it's clear, which is wrong. So that's not fun at all. And you would normally go in here to the scale and scale it up. And then you would come and bring it down to the position zero, zero, zero. And that didn't do a damn thing. Oh, that's the pivot. I didn't do that. Um, position, position, position. What happens when we move it? 
It's got a really weird position point. So that that's terrible. But regardless, regardless, it's like it's transparent. So we know that's not working. So let's get rid of it again. Hey, probably on camera. Yeah, probably. Oh no, you're on camera. So part of it could be the face orientation, which you find out by clicking up here where those two circles are and then turning on face orientation. And red means it's not visible and blue means it is. So you have to go into edit mode and then you have to go to mesh and then you go to normals and then you flip the normals. And if you flip the normals properly, and I'll need to select all of this now. So let's do this part. I even missed something there, so shift there, oops, shift there. So now I got everything selected, and then let's look at it in the in that mode there, and let's go to select, sorry, mesh, and then normals, and then flip, and that's blue. Now we got to get these faces, so select face. And now let's flip those normals. And then this part here. And that part there needs to be flipped. And this part here. And it's so weird. Flip those normals. Okay, and when we look at the bottom, it's the bottom that we want to see when we're inside. So <clears throat> then we see the inside of it. So really, though, I think what's strange is if I grab this face and I extrude it out in Z, and then I just pick that face, I should be able to keep that one blue in there and have this one be flipped here. So that becomes blue. Ah, but you see that one doesn't. So it's, they're not, yeah, they're not separate faces. And I think maybe when we go to the particles, see the mesh, vertex groups. I mean, it's a, it's got to be made into a different part, really. And that's what I don't totally understand in here. Because that's going to then be transparent. And I'll confirm that because I'm going to go back to object mode. And I'm going to export this again. And let's bring it in. And let's bring it in here. That is a little better. Looks like we did something. Oh, see the back disappears. Unless you're looking at it from the inside. So when we import this. It is a bit better though, although as you can see, it's open from the back, it's transparent. I want to see if the character can get in it first. I'm going to bring this up by 100, and it brought it way up there. So let's bring the Y down to zero here. It's got this stupid point. And that that's just driving me absolutely nuts. So here, the problem is it's not zeroed. And I think that the only way to really do this is to do this thing where you go into the scene, make a new scene. And I'll call this new scene Buildings for Export. And I'll go back to the Aquich Plane, and I'll take this and I'll copy it. 
go into the new scene, buildings for export, paste it in, and then move it to select it and move it to a location. It's going to be moved to 000. And I think moving to 000. Why can't I even see item? So location zero, location zero, location zero. And then like what is on earth is it doing? Like, why can't I see my grid lines anymore? And it's not pivoting around that point, which is strange. So object set origin to geometry, but it's still doing this because I'm in global maybe? No, it shouldn't be that. And I'm not seeing the grid. Whereas when I'm in here, no, it's all doing this weirdness. Is that because I have this on? No. Maybe. Maybe I need to get out of face orientation. Yeah, then you see the grid. So when I go to buildings for export, no, I'm not seeing the grid because that's still on. No, it's not. This orientation. Oh, so now we can see it. I don't know what. Oh, it's just because it's on materials. All right, so that greenhouse is there, and probably to make it better, we should get rid of the rotation so that it's just lined up and it makes it ever so much easier. And then set it to zero, and set it to zero, and set it to zero. And then, by all transforms, and now, when we export it, as an FBX and overwrite this when we come into Roblox and we get rid of this one and try it again all right still got that problem with its back but at least this when it comes in it comes in on the ground which is a lot better and then we can move it by looking at the top and move it, whoa, not the world, sorry about that. Move the greenhouse over. And then rotate it so it's facing what we think is the right way. All right, and then let's increase its size by 100. And it just did that same stupid thing where ooh, that really got big. Okay, not 100. Let's try 10. There it is. Okay, 10. And now let's move it over and let's rotate it slightly. Oops, not that way. Rotate it slightly and move it slightly. All right. And now it's got the door in it. When you go in, it's got a back face. Okay, maybe not so bad. Yep, yep the back's missing. All right, so at least we're on to something now. Let's see if the character can go in it. So let me save this and let's go. And the character lands and he says, hey, there's the greenhouse. And we race over to the greenhouse and we jump in. Yes. And of course, you can walk right through the wall, not that one. And now you see that that one's transparent from there. All right, so we are getting somewhere. That's nice to see in our modeling, but we're having trouble with these faces. And that is the next thing to do is to get a greenhouse that we can then put elsewhere that doesn't show up weird with its faces. All right, so, all right. A quick consultation with ChatGPT says that one of the workarounds is to go to the greenhouse and go to the mesh and go to properties and turn on double sided. Ha ha! 
there we go. And that should make it work. So zoom on in. Yep. Now our greenhouse is perfect. Nice. I didn't even know about that. So there is your answer there, this double-sided thing. And then we don't have to worry about it so much. So now we can go and try to do the... Of course, I have to do this while this thing is on, so while we're not playing. So go in here and turn on double side. There. See how that opened that up? Originally, this was transparent. Then you go double-sided, and boom! So that even when you go inside and you turn around, the walls are in there. Now, this greenhouse can be used with a material, a decal, and if I had a decal, if I had like greenhouse, I don't know if there's a decal for it, probably not. No, there kind of is, but that's not exactly what we were looking for. But I could use that and uh, insert it. And it make made that part there. So I, I don't, I don't know. But greenhouse cafe like several times. So whatever it's uh, looks like it came in on just two of the surfaces. That's if I'm going to apply a decal to it. Otherwise, you know, we're just we're changing the color like that. And we'll get later into how to bring a texture in from Blender once we've figured that one out. So good. Um, that's nice. So we go back to Blender here and we go back to our Ackrich plane and we go and grab another greenhouse. Now this other greenhouse, if I go to edit, this one needs modification. So I'm going to hide everything else. Oops, I need to go to edit to object mode to do the hiding. So this one is hit the period key. Cylinder two is greenhouse front. And then we can select everything and hit H for hide. Actually, I should select everything and hit H for hide. And then go period to find greenhouse front, which would be greenhouse front. There it is. Turn this, that one on and go into edit mode. Once I've selected it and go in and say, all right, yay. So we have this face here and we have no face here. So I'm going to go into the I'm going to turn this guy around, click off of it, and I'm going to select everything here, and then I'm going to say F for face, and I have a face there. Having that face, which I'm now just going to select as a face, I'm going to extrude it back a little bit, so I have some double, and I'm going to do the same thing for the back. I'm going to come in and grab this part, and say F for face, and then select the face, and then extrude it, and extrude it back to give it some depth. That gives it some double-sidedness. Now, we did want to put in a, we did want to put in a, 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 oh, Alt H, what? H, Alt H, I want everything to be unhidden. How do I do that? Oh, get out of edit mode. Um, Alt H, everything comes back. I suppose nobody's going in the greenhouse from this side. They'd be going in from this side here. So that's the one that I want to get to. And I will go back into edit mode. And I will select this face. And I had this, I had this little cube that I used over there. There it is. So for making a door, I had this cube that I used, and I'm going to go to the top view and bring that cube over here to become like my door. And <clears throat> I think it's a little too big for this model, so I'll shrink it down with scale. I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to move it sort of toward the middle. And that becomes my door. 
although it needs to be, yeah, it's punched in. Probably could be raised up a bit. Hmm? All right, so I've got that and I've got this. And I go to this greenhouse and I tell it that I want to put in a modifier, which is a Boolean. And then I tell it that the object I want to use as difference is that cube and it cuts out a door. And it looks like, oops, bring this up a little bit. Oops. All right, and then I can say apply. And then I can move this cube out of the way. And I have a door, sort of. Let's see if I can zoom in. I didn't go deep enough, I guess. Hmm, ain't that weird. Let's check this out. So why? Well, there's another way to open it, and that is to go to the edit mode and click on that face and delete the face. So now we should be able to get inside the greenhouse. Yes, we can. All right, so it's got a door. And now I'm going to go from that object And let's, I don't think I need to check the normals at all. I mean, normally you'd go in and you'd check the normals and it would be transparent on the inside. But if we're doing this two-face thing, then I think we're okay. I think we just, uh, I think we just take this and export it, but we're going to copy it and then go to our new scene, which is buildings for export. And I'm going to get rid of that one and paste in Ooh, I didn't need to copy everything. Okay, let's go back to the scene. No, go back to average plane. It's this one here, but I don't want that. I just want that, and I'm going to cut it, copy, and now go to my buildings for export, paste it in, tell it that I want it to be located at zero, 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 and I want my rotation at zero, 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 oops, <laughs> no, sorry, that one, which one is that, is that X, so it's the Y is zero, and the Z is zero, and this should be at 90, oops, no, not good, <laughs> Ah, the joys of not putting things in at the right angle. So let's rotate this in Y. So R, Y. Try to make it level. And look at it. Do it by eye. Lift it up. All right, that's a little bit better. And let's put the origin to the geometry. Control A and do all transforms. And from there, this greenhouse should be ready to export. And it'll be greenhouse front. And everything else is the same as we've done. And then come into Roblox and bring in the 3D mouse front. Looks like it's working. Except when you get inside and then it is not double faced yet. Now, let's see in the file geometry, can you double face it? New. No, nothing there. So I guess you do that later on when you get it in. Object geometry. Oh, make double-sided. Okay, so you can do it when you import it. That saves a step. That's rather nice. And you can anchor it when it comes in, too, so you don't have to toggle the anchor. So that's the preferred way to bring things in. And there it is. And now we have to bring it up, I guess, 10 times its size, which we'll do once we get it in place. And there's this whole thing, I, I keep insisting, there's something about, like, 
if I rotate this, then I should be able to bring it over here and here. And I guess it, I could do it all at once, but the individual control is probably better than having to re-import large scenes, or so ChatGPT told me. So the scale here is going to be 10. If it's OK, a little bit awkward. We'll just make it change it just a little bit. So, But it's more or less correct. Move it over and give it that same color. And now let's see what happens when we play the game. It does look like it's a little bit off. Let's see, it needs to go, no, it's on the, it's on the landscape. All right, let's save the file and let's hit play. Our character comes and he says, oh, that's the back greenhouse. Oh, this is the front greenhouse. Okay, so can he get inside? Yes, he gets inside, but then he gets stuck for some reason. Really weird. Like, why is this guy getting stuck? It's got this like airlock thing. But in the back one, he can walk all the way. So maybe it's the position of the floor that's causing him trouble. Because he gets inside, okay, and then. You see this is a dip down and then he's totally blocked by something in there which I cannot figure out let's go back to blender here or maybe before we get black to blender what if I bring this down so we can walk on the ground maybe there's a collision that if I really come in here and I turn off um, you know snap to part so the moving is is not done by studs, so I should be able to bring the floor down. Let's see if that changes things. Okay. Nope. He's still stuck as stuck can be. He can walk all there, there's no blockage there, but he's having trouble walking into the greenhouse. Maybe it's got nothing to do with that. Let's bring it up so that the floor is above the, uh, the mesh. We have to jump a little bit. I'd like to see what that does. It's just a jump to get in. Okay. Nope, he still gets stuck. There's some invisible object stopping him. So delete. Let's go back to Blender. What's the problem? So you, as a model, uh, maybe the floor is weird. What if we go into edit mode and we grab the floor using face and we tell the floor that you need to be doubled. So we extrude it up slightly in Z make the floor like that. And now that we have a floor like that, if we save maybe that's going to do it. So let's see if we export and right over that. Come in here and Daddy, I yeah, want I... the cars that turn into creatures. Hmm, I don't know that. Those cars will stop up turning into creatures in hot water. Oh, I think Mom would know where those are. I don't know where they are. Make double-sided. Okay, They're up in, in one of the cabins on the other. Oh, see, I don't know where they are. But mommy does. All right, so I have this um, this greenhouse. 
which is now anchored. And I'm going to move it. So instead, this time of doing it with uh, the numbers, I'm just using the scale tool and move tool. And bring it like that and we have to rotate it just slightly more like that. All right, let's see if this works. So we hit play and go running to the greenhouse and he's still, oh he got to the back that time and he gets stuck as if there's something, like there's something locking him right there. What is that? Because I can go around it, whatever it. No, I can't get around it there. I'd have to jump. No. Seems like if I go down the left side, it's not there, but there's some object that is invisible. And maybe... Let's just see what's in there. So if we go back to Blender and we go into here... What could be the problem in here? Go into edit mode. It seems there is something that has a dot there. And I don't know what on earth it could be. So is that the origin that's causing the blocking? Something weird is in there. But you don't really see what it is. Um, if I take the origin, go back to the object mode, that origin is right there in the center. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but if we say move the origin, I'm going to put the 3D cursor up at the top and by putting the 3D cursor at the top and then moving the origin, yeah. I saw a blue cockroach in the RV. Oh my gosh, blue, huh? Oh yes, that's the one you made from the uh, the little foam pellet. Yeah, I get you. But mommy knows where those are. I don't know where those are. Well, she's gonna get them when she's done. Ah, good idea. That's what. And the sour one's being cold now, and she's... Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this again. Are you getting I... rid of that? Why yeah. are you getting rid of that? Because, look, the character gets stuck. Whenever he lands on the ground and he goes running to the greenhouse and he tries to go inside, he gets stuck. He can't move. Unless I go to this side, and then only then can he kind of walk around it. And he gets stuck again until he goes to the back. So, yeah, it's really weird. So I'm thinking it could have to do with the origin point, which is that Can little I point there. The guy? Yeah, once I, I got to re-import the, re the 3D model. So there's the model. And I also want to Daddy, tell it... Can you change the color of the blue? blue, blue yeah, uh -huh. I'll make it double-sided. Make, import... make the blue hoop house red. Okay, successfully imported. Um, don't climb up here. Don't climb up here. Don't, 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 don't go because, because the camera's on. I want to be up here. Okay. 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 I've got to go. I've got to go, Dad. you got to go. There you go. All right. Um, all right, so... Let's find out if this yeah. is rotated 
around and moved over and then scaled up. This kind of constant blundering troubleshooting is just driving me nuts. I guess that's the only way that I can learn by myself because I got nobody to teach me except watching endless YouTube videos and then trying to see if they apply to what I'm doing. Sob story, blah, blah. Okay, so there it is, and let's try it again. See if moving the origin point had an effect. So we go in. Nope. Still causing all sorts of problems as if there was an invisible object in the room. What is that? How is that even possible? What's showing up or not showing up? Why is my character... And it's not happening over in the other greenhouse, right? It's not happening over here. No, here he can run as if he's free. So, <clears throat> something's wrong with this greenhouse. Um, so, something that we can do, I'll just delete it and go through the procedure all over again. So, this one here has problems, and so we're going to delete it. And then I'm going to put my 3D cursor right there, and I'm going to add a mesh and add a cylinder. I am going to rotate the cylinder in local, rotate it in Y. I guess so, why not? I'll just do it Y and I'll rotate it by 90 degrees. I'll then rotate it in Z. Oh, that's the Z cylinder. So let's go back to global. And let's rotate in Z until we get it facing where we want. And then we will scale it up. And scale it in Z. Not that Z. Scale it in local Z. Scale in local Z. Make it a little longer. Move it in local Z so it's sitting like that. Now we will cut it in half by going to Edit and selecting with transparency the entire bottom half. That's not quite the bottom half. The bottom half would be this half here. Oops, don't want to do that. Bottom half is this half. Oops, no, I still didn't do it right. Do it again. Let's go like this. Huh. I guess it gets the whole face um, of the cylinder. So if we wanted to get just that, we would need to go into points and then go and cut off everything underneath. Okay. So we would go delete all those vertices and then we would come in here and grab grab the bottom vertices here and here and here and here and then we would hit F to make a face and then we would grab all of these vertices so I'll hit the C key click off of this I would hit the C key and draw around it like that and hit F to make a face and do the same thing here hitting the C key oops I need to click off of that C key and there except I don't want this and I don't want those. I just want those and I want oops I want I'm hitting shift and it's taking them out, so let me put it in again. Shift, there we go, and that, and then hit F and I've got that. All right, so now you will extrude and bring it back 
and we'll do the same thing on this back face. We will click off of this, we'll click on the face, we will extrude, and move it back in. So we have that. You want to do the same thing for all of these faces. So let's get all those faces. And looks like we need to also get ah, I don't know that. Well, I could do that. I could do the floor. Doesn't matter. So it's not selected. There we go. So now we will extrude in scale. So we make a sort of inner skin or we make an outer skin. I'll make an inner skin. I want to make sure that it's hollow and I don't know. That's the big problem is, is it hollow? Um, I'm going to take this object, grab this cube who it's not even letting me un, unpick. Come on. Oh, because I'm on the cursor. Right. Selection. Take my cube, which is somewhere around here. Let's look for it again. There's the cube. Bring the cube in. And just place the cube so that it is penetrating the door. Take this object and go to Boolean. Tell it you want the cube to be... Oh, I'll do that right. Sorry, door Boolean. Maybe it did do it right. Let's see. Ooh, what happened? So... I said to take this add a modifier boolean and then pick the object being one that hmm. no 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 take this I guess it is called door boolean if it makes it disappear which is really weird is not supposed to do that. Let's see if we do fast. Maybe because it's not there, yeah, it'll lift it up. Maybe that's the problem. Difference. All right. So fast is working. Exact is also working here. So let's apply the modifier. And let's move this out. And it gave us a not door. So that is weird. Um, but we know that we can punch out. Yeah, we can punch out the, the door with face. So that's one face that we can delete. And there doesn't seem to be another face. All right. Now it does look like this should be brought down a bit. Not in local Z, but in global Z. Make the door a little bigger. And say OK. That would be the greenhouse. If we came into it. Now what that object is, that's the wall. It's that back. So that's not relevant to this. We do, we should make this a bit smaller in um, In local scale and Z, put it in like that. Rotate it. Yes. We're okay. We'll leave it like that. Uh, all right. And then I'm going to make the set the origin to geometry, which is now up there. And I'm going to shift D to select it. So I'm not going to mess with that one. Then I'm going to Cut this off. I couldn't do it. I just copied, I guess. 
and then go into buildings for export, paste it in, and then make sure that we are going into location 0, 0, 0. And the rotation we will set that to 0 that way. And let's just hop. Now there's nothing blocking it on the inside. And if there is, then we need to pick a point up at the top, go set origin to 3D cursor. And I don't know what could possibly be in here that would be interfering, because it looks empty to me. And I'll just save this. If we then export this at the X, as we always do, limit to selected objects, batch mode, and local collide transformation. Geometry is normals only. Find modifiers. Well, that's if there were modifiers that we didn't already apply. Yeah, we export it, and then we come in and we say, okay, you, you're a mess. We don't want you anymore. So goodbye. And we go and we bring in the 2D model. Doesn't look like there's anything inside. We will go to the cylinder geometry and make it double sided. Like an airlock thing going on. And import it. And then rotate it scale up. Looks like it's rotated in the wrong direction. Oh, where's the door? I don't see no door. That's odd. There's the door. Okay. So, we have a door. Alright, well, fingers crossed. Whatever object. Oh, wait a minute, this is the back one. It doesn't help. So this one's the new one. Oh, yeah, he can go. There's a step there. All right, so I'm not sure what it was. He is having trouble getting in there. And the way maybe is to bring this down so that the lip of that is on the ground, so it's not a step. Let's try that. And it's still not low enough. It's still got a step. So let's bring it down a little bit further. It's weird though. And that's, there's the step, so I've got it underground. So I don't know. Oh, it's not anchored. Is it? So it keeps popping up. So I'd have to anchor it, thing like that. And now let's see. So now, yes, now it's underground. And yeah, he runs right in. Ah, nice, finally. All right, so we've got two greenhouses. Still has trouble just bumping into something there. There's a step that we hardly see. And sometimes there isn't. Like there is, and there isn't. Like there, there's a block. It's like wherever the collision is, and only the entrance there has an uncollision. So stranger than fiction sometimes. That makes you pause. Um, one of the things you can do in the game, 
and I'll point out while I'm here, if we go inside is we can put light bulbs in. So if we put light under models, then we can put a ceiling light in or a beam light or a hanging light bulb. And we can rotate it so it's hanging in there. And then put in another one. So that makes it a little bit more lit up. And then when we've got that light, and this is the light here, one of them is called light or hanging light. Let's put light hanging. And then this one here is light hanging. And then when you go into the actual bulb, there should be some way to make it brighter or less bright. It does cast shadow, colors institutional light, reflective. Um, there's the light part of it. So I haven't yet investigated all of the capability of how much light is being cast. So normally you have lighting here and that's ambient lighting, but these are models of light that we have. But it does have its own little things. So when you go into the greenhouse now, there's light. Not really casting wide or bright. And maybe there's a way to go into lighting atmosphere, there's sky, there's sun rays. There should be, like if I go to lighting and I say insert object and I put light, yeah, so there's a point light where there's a power light. And that's different from the, um, it's usually different from the, uh, inside of the greenhouse. That is the entire atmosphere. So that's the bulb. If I come in here and I say insert object, and I do light again. We need to know where is that light and it's not in the world. So it's just going to add to the overall brightness of the whole scene. Whereas in here we're adding lights and lamps. Something else to figure out in there. So, all right, so let's go back to, let's go back to our next greenhouse, which is in our Akratch Plain. It's this one here, and I think what I'll do is I'll delete that from there, and I will go to this. I don't like this one, so I'm going to do it again, do the same procedure with the cylinder. So let us add mesh cylinder. Let's go and rotate that in. So let's rotate it in Y by 90. Let's rotate it in Z. No, Z is now the other way, so we'd have to go to global to do that, but maybe now I can rotate it in not Y, but rotate it in X. There we go. Much better though to go back to global and then rotate in Z. And then let us stretch this out by scaling in Z. Oops, not in Z, no. Scaling in uh, X. Oh, no. 
Let's go to local. And now scale in Z. Yeah. And let's look at it from the top. And let's move that. And let's continue to let's rotate a little bit. Let's scale it in Z. Let's move it back. Let's rotate it just a bit more. Did you give him the things that he wanted to? Yeah. Now, right. one time, it's you're going to get so sophisticated. Oops. Yeah. Mm, yeah. All right. So moving on, we have this. Again, we can go into edit mode. We can grab all the vertices that are down below, including those. Oops, let's take that. Grab all, oops, all those, including that one. And we will then delete all those vertices. We will Select the bottom parts, which is this one, this one, this one, and this one. That. Oh. Well, let's see, if we selected everything, what would happen if we hit a face? It just makes one big face out of the whole thing. That might actually be preferable. I don't know. Maybe we've hit upon something here. Now, if I take this and this and this, so we simplify the geometry radically when we did that, and I make a face like that, and then what if I select then the whole thing? That uh, doesn't have any faces. Uh, I've got no faces. So that wasn't good to do. So let's go back. So we have. Yeah. All right. We didn't want to do that. Let's get this, 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 and that. And then let's hit face. And then let's grab these. Make a face. And let's grab these. Make a face. And then let's grab everything and let's extrude and scale so we make a greenhouse in a greenhouse it's a little bit too big so there we have a greenhouse in a greenhouse now that we have that we can uh, i guess that's all we need to do there we're going to do our boolean in a moment so we've got this object, and we have this object here. I'm going to take this and put this greenhouse in there. So let's bring that to there, and let's bring it down. I hope that that's the right size. Could be, this could be a little bit bigger. Scale this up a little bit. Okay. And then the Boolean is all messed up. So let's go look. Yeah. Let's bring it up a little bit. All right. So then we select this. Well, oh, that's not quite right. Let's check this Boolean out. Let's move it over a little bit. All right, so we select this and we tell it to add a Boolean. And then grab the door Boolean object and tell it to 
apply. And when we move this out of the way, we have a door. And probably should be higher. The Roblox character should fit inside. So having this, we will copy it. We'll go again to our buildings for export. We'll get rid of this. We don't need it anymore. Paste this in place. We will click on it. We will go to the item, move its location. Rotation. Why? Oops, don't want that. So, whatever that was is fine. And then rotation in Z. Right. <laughs> it's really bizarrely rotated. That should be ninety. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. That should be ninety. And then when we look at it from the top, and we look at it from one, we look at it, bring it down, and we have to make the object's origin to geometry from there. And I think we have a greenhouse here. And so then by taking this and exporting it as an FBX, call it greenhouse middle. And it's at 0 0.01, so we're good there. Exporting it, we now come into Roblox. And we let's move that, by the way. We can zoom in here. And select. And now we can bring in that greenhouse middle. Looks OK. But we need to go into the cylinder object geometry and make it double sided and make sure it's anchored. All right, so now when we import it, there it is, and then we rotate it. That's the door, okay. And then we can scale it. Looks a little big. So that is bizarre. So the scaling isn't quite working out with that one. It may be that what we need to do is go to the cylinder itself. Yeah, then we can shorten it and scale it. So instead of using the model up here, we can use the actual cylinder, which gives us more independent control over the X, Y, and Z. So that's good to know. Let's put this back a little bit. And let's change the color. And let's see if our character can play inside there. So uh, he goes, he says, oh, I can go into this greenhouse. It's really dark in here. Some light bulbs in there. Fun. What if he goes out and goes into the other greenhouse? Ah, now he's stuck completely. He ain't getting in there. Something's really wrong with that. 
So let's see if we take this and move it down under the ground. Does that help? Nope, same problem. It looks like he's hitting his head for one thing. Hmm? What? Let's scale this up a little bit more. Scale this cylinder up to bring him in. Out a little bit and move it. And let's see if this guy can get in there. Part of it could be that we just scaled the model differently. Yeah, he's so big problem there with the greenhouse scaling. Let's just scale this part to one. Ooh, ooh. And what if we change the size here? And we, what if we make this 130? Make this 61. Make this 80. Right. So we have that. Doesn't look like a door. <laughs> yeah, the door is like underground. That's terrible. Alright, so that's a bit of a disaster. So get out of there. Go back into here. Come in and go to edit and grab this door. Move it up to make it tall enough to get in. And then what's going on on the floor here? That floor is really bizarre. G X bring the floor forward. Maybe that'll work. Maybe it won't. So go back to here, object mode, and we hope. And hope the guy will go in. Maybe there's still a problem down here in the floor. So we grab this, move it in the X forward. So the lip of the door is right there. And let's try it again. So save as oh, export. X. This middle. Good. What happens if I make this scale one because it's a very simple object and export it? Maybe I can avoid some of the problems if we now take that. We see that it has a door in it. We have made it so that it is double sided. And we've decided to anchor it. It's humongous. Wow. Humongous. Okay. Uh oh. Down, ground, rotate it. Yeah. And it is a bit long, so maybe we have to change that model after we see if it works. 
So, guy's there. He comes in here and he goes, okay, I'm gonna take a walk. Yes, it's working. All right. So that's lovely. We can work with this. Now I want to see, is it true that you can then go in and change the model from the inside and still have it function? So when I go to scale on the model itself, bring the back end there, what happens then? Hit play. And the little greenhouse. No, oh, he stopped being able to run. It's weird. But he is able to move around. Oh, that's weird glitch. Not good. There's a bit of light in there. All right. Now, another thing is greenhouses are generally supposed to be somewhat transparent, or they would need light bulbs. Um, and that's just fabric to protect it from the sun. Oh, and what happened to this guy? What happened to you? How did you get all messed up? That shouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. You got all messed up, didn't you? Alright, well, um, they're supposed to be somewhat transparent. So when we select this, is there a transparency for the mesh? And the color is here, double sided is checked, material is plastic. If we made the material leather, it's not really going to change much. Plastic is fine, material variant reflectance, transparency. So there we go much nicer. All right, so now we get this idea that the transparency, the greenhouse can be seen if I change the transparency of the model. And the same thing for this guy here. It's got that weird logo on it that we're gonna have to take off, but that's not hard, that's a decal we can delete. So we'll go back into here and go into the greenhouse model and find the transparency and bring it to whatever we want to. Like with this one, we were at a transparency of transparency is 0.4. So if we want to make them all consistent, then our transparency would be at 0.05. Say 0.4. 0.4. It's not too bad. Same thing with this one here. The transparency would be 0.4. Okay, here the transparency is 0.4, and here the transparency is 0.4, I believe. That's 0.35, so we can make it 0.4. Now they have the same transparencies. Now we're getting a little bit closer to what we want to be able to do. So let's jump in and play again. And when he's in there, you can see outside. Nice. And that was weird. Oh, that got made that got put way to the top. I don't understand when and how these stupid things happen like that. Rotation is messing up on this particular object. And that has to be locked in position once we get it, because every time I move, I seem to be messing something up.
Now in order to lock something, you have a lock right there. So that's now locked. This would be unlocked all. Lock tool. That's locked. That's locked. And this one here is now locked. That means they will not move until I unlock them. So I can get out of the lock tool. And we can continue our excursion bringing parts in from Blender. I think this one here, unlock that and rotate it. And then lock it again. So lock. Okay, that's working better. It's not that you can't build in Roblox, because you can, you can put in parts, but I think we're safer doing this all from Blender. And now that I have this the way I like it, um, copy it, I can get rid of it here, <coughs> and then come in to my scene and paste it, get rid of this, bring this over. Rotate it in Z, along Z, global. Rotate it in global Z. There. That way I can keep my model fairly consistent. Now, what about these other buildings? Um, I suppose one of the things we should do is put the fence around the whole property. And here, if I grab all of the fence pieces, it's not going to shift, 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 I didn't ask for all that, shift, 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 those fence pieces, shift, Shift, shift. If that's the outer wall piece, they can all be brought in as a single piece, but they can also be brought in joined like that. So, uh, shift click now. I did the wrong thing, so let me do it again. Also, this guy is a little bit rotated, a little bit wrong. Okay, so shift, careful not to get anything else. Shift and shift to get the wall. So with those wall pieces, I should be able to go to object mode. Oh yeah, once again, I'm gonna copy them. Go to my buildings for export, paste them in. Make sure that they are clicked off. And it's not going to let me probably use the 3D cursor. It's really not going to let no me do well. Location. Zero, zero, zero. Yes, yeah, see, it's, that's, uh, that's going to be problematic. However, they are more or less around the center. And they are more or less now above the ground. So if I take the origin and put it to geometry, nothing happens because they're not one geometry. So what happens if I go here and I put my cursor in the center and tell it to set the origin to 3D cursor? Okay, now I have a thing. If I hit Control A in all transforms, okay. So now with that, I should be able to export Not FBX. Again, I'll do it at one. I'll call it walls. And I'll say, let's select 
objects. So here comes walls. Come into here, select and import 3D detail walls. There they are. Now it says file geometry has a problem, and it says the file dimensions it's too large. All right, so we can't do that. So let's go and export again with our point. Let's try it. Let's use point. Or one like we've been doing before, and then come into Roblox and try it now. All right, it's not unhappy about that. They all would need then to have double sidedness, they all need to be anchored. So you have to go to each component and that you can put it anchored, they have to be anchored. So anchor, 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 make double sided, all left anchored and double sided, all right anchored and double sided, and then you have walls. All right, um, when we import them, They're in somewhere, there they are, but they're way too small and their position is messed up. But here's where we should be able to simply move the whole thing, especially if we go to the pivot center, edit pivot, and tell the pivot center to be at the center and make the rotation like that. And like that and like that so that when we're looking at it we're able to move it more consistently to the center. We have to move it up and move it over. And then when we scale it, we can maybe get it in place. We won't really know until we get it down on the ground and positioned, right? So we have to move it. And you can see that it needs to rotate this way and that it is not positioned right. So this is what drives you nuts about trying to do big pieces that you're not going to get your rotations easily in place. And so it's often quicker to just model the darn thing with individual walls and then bring them in and position them. Because now this is, by the way, a uh, model that has other pieces in it. It's got cube one. So technically you can come now and do your rotations and your mo movements with individual pieces. So cube one is that one back there and it should be rotated up a bit. Um, cube, I think if you shift click or control click, no, not control click, shift click, no, alt click, yes, alt click. So if you alt click, then you can get just one of those objects. I'll click on that. And like I'll click on this and then you see that well it's um I move there and 
it's using the same position. So this is another case where you could go to the edit pivot point and move the pivot point right onto this and then you have the ability to slide it into place like that. And then if you want to edit this individually, you can come into okay. the scale and okay, scale it out but it's not scaling weirdly in terms of rotate. Yeah. Okay, I'll be with him in a second. Be right there, Nye. So let's move this out a little bit and move it down. And let's just see if this plays right. Okay, Nye. Because here you can select the whole thing and then go to a color. Hmm? To what? Yeah, All right, let me save this. I'm going to go to the kid. But it takes so long to figure out how to uh, position these that you really are better off just not even bothering with bringing that in from Blender. So I'm going to erase those. Really, it's faster, and you'll see this. Uh, it's going to be faster to come in here and go to part and put in a block and take that block and move it. Yeah. yeah. So what you'd want to do is just use the Roblox parts for simple things like walls and rotate them into place going into the top and then moving them into position Daddy. and then Daddy. yes nine Daddy. so you would come into uh, to this Roblox part and then you would scale that out and you're going to find out that it's actually faster and better to do that with a given Roblox part that you can put in. So you can build up your, your walls. Notice that it's um, snapping to parts. So sometimes you want to turn snapping off so it's smoother. And then you can get your parts a little better. And then if you look at it from the top, then you can thicken it out a little bit. So that is a better a better wall and it's also it's not plastic so when you look at the material the material that is applied should be probably the cobblestone or pebble or salt or sand Sand for a wall like this probably makes more sense. As you can see, it looks a little more like a stone wall. I don't have the lighter. Mm -hmm. Now this is locked. Oh. So if I want to get to the unlocking my I got the lock Daddy. tool and I'm gonna Daddy, I'm cooking my marble. unlock this. Daddy, you're gonna I'm cook your marble. I see that you're gonna do that. Yep. So let's rotate this slightly to get out of the way of the wall. And let's move it slightly to get Daddy, out of the way of the wall. Mm-hmm. You want your marbles to be burned up? Yeah. And again, if you wanna come in here and edit the greenhouse. To make it fit a little better, you Daddy, go into the model itself. I mean, I'd rather into the, the mesh itself rather than the model. In this outside living room. Can I do what? Can you burn the marbles up in the outside I don't know. I don't think so. All right. So now we got several more walls that we have to do. I mean, you can select the wall, and. <clears throat> We can Daddy. hit Control D to duplicate Mommy. it, or call it wall. Daddy. 
Yeah, nice. Hey, what are the earths are attractive at night? What is attractive at night? Red urgents are attractive at night. That's why they always come in. What are red urgents? Red urgents are. Oh, urchins? Red urgents. Urgents. I think you mean urchins. I think you mean urchins. Yeah. Oops. Urgents are in the ocean and they, and they break out roots. Urgents are attracted at night. Oh. Okay, so we move this wall over this way, and then... Do not move walls for red urchins. That, that means if the, if the seas wall mm -hmm. and there's no sea walls, the city will be dust, will be complete, the road will be completely far away from the ocean. Oh. And the ocean will be longer. Is that so? Yeah. So I'll move this up to here and move this up to here. And then get F to zoom in a bit. Uh Daddy, I don't know. Seems like okay. The feel of this. Hmm? Daddy, I what don't, don't you like, like the, the feel, feel of? Of, this. of what, son? Of this. Of what? So there's the lock tool. Um, yeah. Let's unlock that. But let's lock this. Yeah, and let's honey lock water. this. Making yeah, honey you're making water. honey water. With what? No, 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 no. You're not you're supposed to waste honey. No, drink it. Drink I'm it. You don't waste honey mommy's water. honey. Yeah, well then drink it. Drink it, son. Yeah, I'm mixing it with tea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm rotate this. Now I made my own hot chocolate. That's great. Now put grapes in it. Mix it. To mix it. You're making quite the concoction. So uh, this landscape is certainly not perfectly aligned from the satellite view. So it, it is make, a bit awkward. I'll make, Daddy, and then, Daddy, yeah. I'll make... I'll mix my hot chocolate all up so it's very sweet with honey and grapes. Okay. Because it looks like... It looks really awkward that way. It's like the alignment doesn't Daddy, quite fit with, with the wall. Fire. You're going to make food with the fire? Okay. And with the grape water I made. And with the grape water. Daddy. Annie. Can you can you light up the candles? So maybe the way to do it is to just Daddy, assume that it's Daddy, a little bit can, off. Hey, can you light up the candles? No, I'm not lighting up the candles. What? What? Why? Because candles can be dangerous. They're not. Uh-huh. They're not. So deciding if you're going to pick um, this or just add dum another dum. piece. Who are you talking to, dum dum? <laughs> Funny. Um. Funny. Oh. Yeah, fun. Funny. Fun. 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 And let's rotate this into position. We can always export out of Roblox as an OBJ back into Blender if we want to. So modeling really should be at your discretion for what seems to work best. But I think when it comes to solid objects, modeling in Roblox is probably easier than modeling in Blender if the goal is to put it into Roblox. So now we go to scale and we can scale this stud up. And you know, I mean, let me unlock this. So 
Sometimes this drives me nuts. So select this. Is it still locked? Locked tool. Unlock it. It's locked. It's unlocked. And scale this. Then grab this, scale it out, and if we come out this far, then we're going to have to rotate it a little bit like that, and then we would, and it's best to duplicate this with Control D, and we'll call this wall as well. And I should really always rename more precisely, but for right now, I'm not gonna. If you wanted to make curves, you'd do the curves, of course, in Blender. But I want to get this thing mocked up, and then we'll see what we want to do in terms of curves and stuff. Oh, shoot. Okay, what did I do wrong? I made that. There we go. So I've really got to lock the landscape. That would make sense, wouldn't it? So I'm on the landscape, and I need to lock it. Now it's going to be. Coming. All right, so the landscape is locked. And now that issue won't happen. So I'm getting a wall around here. Let's select this and let's duplicate it with Control D. And let's move it out this way. And rotate it because the pivot points are in place for Roblox. All right, so I'm going to put this on pause while I do all of it. All right, so the walls are there, and when I go to... So we can... Um... We can go like that, and like that. We want to make the walls about the same size. And then when we have our character come in, and then we save, and when we hit play, we have a character who is coming to the wall, and we can jump out of the wall there. So that's not too bad, and it's got a ball sort of to so the next thing we're going to have to get to is a building. That's cute. My son keeps calling me. Okay, so uh, there he goes again. <laughs> oh, my kids are great. So I guess I'm going to wrap this up, but I was just going to say that we won't model these buildings in Roblox because hollowing them out. Like if I put in a block here and I say, all right, I want to put a building here and I take that block and I scale it up, then while I can scale this block and put it in position, hollowing it out to make a, uh, a room you can walk into is not as easy as far as I know as uh, what we would do in Blender. It's snapping like that. That's kind of cute. Um, so we could model these, and I know people have and people do, but I would rather try to make our buildings that we're going to put in here 
in Blender. And that'll be my next adventure is coming back into Blender and going to these buildings that I've made so that I can start punching holes in them and making my Blender buildings. But the walls are much easier to do in Roblox. And that was my point for now. And we'll try to do as much in Roblox as we can, but when it comes, as I said, to punching holes and things, then we'll want to model in Blender. We'll get back to you when we've figured that out.